In this video, we'll discuss a crucial element of Amazon PPC Manager, and that is selecting the right lookback period when analyzing your data. Choosing the wrong lookback period can result in premature optimization decisions, while selecting too long a period can mean that data being analyzed is too outdated. So if you're interested in finding the right Amazon PPC lookback period that is, right, that is just right for you, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the founder of Seller Metrics, an Amazon marketing agency. If you're interested in content such as this, where we do deep dives into anything Amazon FBA, uh, news, tips, and hacks, I invite you to subscribe. Looking for the best Amazon selling information all in one place? Check out our seller repository where we have the best practices, SOPs, and hacks all in your fingertips in an easy to follow guide. It's perfect for the sellers looking to upgrade their knowledge and also to train their BAs. You can make a copy on the link below. When managing your Amazon PPC campaigns, the look back period refers to the specific time frame over which you analyzed your Amazon PPC campaign performance data. That could range from a week to several weeks to months. Now, why is the look back period so important? Well, your choice of look back period can significantly impact the conclusion you draw from your data and the decisions you make for your campaign such as whether you should bid up or down, whether you should negate certain search terms, and whether the data that you're looking at is actually actionable or not. Before deciding on the correct look back period for your Amazon PPC data, you must draw on what I call statistical significance of your keyword level data. Yeah, I know in the math world, statistical significance can mean bell curves and also p-values, but in the PPC world, it's just about allowing certain keywords to receive enough data, aka clicks, to make an informed decision. So I'm guessing your next question is, how many clicks do I need to make an optimization decision? My answer to that is that it could be easily worked out via your conversion rate data. Let's just say your conversion rate is 10%, so that means that you need at least 10 clicks into your listing before getting a conversion. I call that 10 clicks your bid click threshold. So what does this have to do with look back periods? You will try to pick a look back period during which most of your keywords and target hits that bid click threshold. And that can easily be done by going into your targets tab in your account, playing around with your date filter, see if a good amount of your converting keywords get to that bid click threshold. And if a majority of your keywords get to that bid click threshold, that particular look back period would be the right one for you. Here in Seller Metrics, we mostly look at data with a 30 days look back window. Still, we do extend this to 60 days if we deem it worthwhile to gather additional data so we could get, make a better informed optimization decision on a keyword and also on a campaign level, especially if majority of your keyword level data has not hit that bid click threshold yet. On top of the specific days of look back period, I also like to remove the last three days of the data in my analysis to improve the data accuracy. But why? Amazon states in their ad console that the sales orders can actually change within a 72 hour period. So that is three days due to payment failures, cancellations, or refunds. There is also an additional, there is also the 12 hour window for which the sales and order it takes for the sales and orders need to be attributed to your ad clicks. So basically waiting out those uh, three additional days and remove those last three days of data could improve your data accuracy. So to summarize, if you are using a 30 days look back window because you have enough data for most of your keyword level data, you will go 33 days back from your current date minus three days. On the other hand, if you decide to look at your 60 days look back period, then you will go 63 days back from your current day and minus three days. For example, let's just say today, February 15th. So if we actually want to look at like a proper 30 days look back window, then we have to go back 33 days to January 13th, then go forward to February 12th. Hence, not including the last three days in our analysis. So the 30 days look back window that we would deem probably the most accurate to make our optimization decision on. 
In conclusion, choosing the right look back period is not a one size fits all approach, although I do think that 90% of all sellers either fall into like the 30 days to 60 days look back range. It requires some thoughtful consideration and experimentation to find look back period that aligns with your product and account. That's all for today's video and I do hope that this video sheds light on the importance of selecting the right look back period when analyzing your Amazon PPC data. And remember, also to consider your goals, your product, and also what I call statistical significance when making this look back period decision. Lastly, if you're an Amazon seller or brand and want to grow your business, schedule a call with me with the link on the link below. We are an Amazon marketing agency that helps our client grow their business profitably. Until the next video drop, happy selling.